And top top defenses. Who who do y'all have as y'all uh y'all top defenses? You know, coming into this year with the draft happening and the free agent signings, I already see Miles. I know Jets is definitely gonna be in the top two for him, but y'all go ahead. E T S finish Miles. You already know what it is. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. You go first. I mean, they got to be the top t- defense in the league right now, in my opinion. If we're looking at from top to bottom, I don't think we dropped off losing Bryce Huff. We got Hassan Reddick, who is a better player, three down player. Uh, our linebackers are still really good. Quincy Williams, CJ. And then we got the the two guys in the backfield, uh, Sauce and DJ. So, and then we got a rotation of you know guys that can rush the passer. So, I mean that unit was elite last year, and you would think you know the play might have dropped off a bit with some of the games Zach played and you know losing games the way they sh- they did, but like they they stayed pretty elite all the way through. So I think now they're going to get more chances to have takeaways because. I think there'll be more games where we're playing in the lead. Like, we're going to be playing ahead as long as, you know, Aaron Rodgers stays healthy and all the things go according to plans, knock on wood. But um, definitely got to be the top team. Um, Second, I mean, Cleveland still has a really good unit. They still got Miles Garrett, who, uh, if I'm not mistaken, did he win defensive player of the year? I'm so far removed from football, like. Um, and that defense just – they stayed the same. Like, they still have Ward back there. They, they've got guys on the line. Uh, so I'm not really worried about them. Uh, who else? I like the Ravens. Even though they lost some guys in free agency, I still think that they can bounce back. And Like, I don't know if I've ever seen a, a bad defensive unit in Baltimore growing up watching football. So I don't think it will change now. I'll put Cowboys at four. I still think that uh, we got to see how Trayvon Diggs comes back off of that injury and if he can be the same playmaker. Because if he is, then that adds a whole new, you know, set of weapons back there. Like they already had Bland making plays. Now you add another playmaker. They could, you know, score like a lot of touchdowns on that side of the ball. They're going to need it because they didn't spend any money on the offense. So, Um, and then five, I got the Chiefs. I mean, that unit was underrated and pretty elite last year. I mean, that's pretty much the reason they made that that long run in the playoffs was that they finally had a great defense behind Patrick Mahomes. Like the year before, Eagles tore them up. Last year or this past year, they made plays. Like Chris Jones, that's the most important player on this team. And, you know, D-backs are replaceable. You're not going to pay a D-back – $20 million if you're the Chiefs. So they made that move, but they still got McDuffie. They still got other guys that they can draft. Like they're, they build the team the right way. And I don't, I don't see them dropping off that much off of losing him. So that's my top five. I like it. I like it. I think it's, I think it's solid. Think about the Jets, man. You're spot on about that. I don't know if I put them in one spot, but they're definitely in the top. They're definitely at the top after the year that they had last year. I mean, the one thing that was exciting to watch about the Jets, frankly, the only thing that was exciting to watch them last year was the defense and how, you know, they were able to stay in games despite still losing was was because of the Jets. And I don't throw a shade, but, like, that's that's the truth, is that there's a dog in Quinn and Williams who can get upfield quickly, get pressure on the quarterback, and then on the outside, you have lockdown corners. You know, it makes it hard to throw the ball downfield for opposing offenses, right? When you have Reed and, and Sauce Gardner, uh, this is a complete defense as they come. So I agree with I agree with the Jets. Um, thinking about the Ravens up there as well, um, I can attest, being a Bengals fan, that the Ravens don't often have a, a bad defense nor a bad offense. I mean, this is a team that prides itself on on grit, hard nosed football. Um, you know, they're well coached, they're hard hitting. Um, they're just a nasty defense overall, and I'm curious as to what that secondary is going to look like with the loss of Geno Stone, right? He left in free agency to come to the Cincinnati. Um, I know they they got some cornerback help this year when they drafted Nate Wiggins in the first round with, with their 30th pick. Um, 
but typically, man, the, the the Ravens are just a solid team that's good at making adjustments when when players either leave, players go down with injury, and, and for years they've always had a gritty defense. So definitely, definitely throw the Ravens up there. You're not wrong in that. Uh, the Browns up there as well. I know you mentioned them. This is a team that <laughs> went to the playoffs last year because of their defense, right? And and obviously Joe Flacco stepping up when when he had to play, but their defense is a big reason for you know them getting into the playoffs, forcing turnovers, lim- limiting pos- possessions, um, and just playing sound defense under under Jim Schwartz. I think last year was his first year with the team. He's coming back this year. I expect the the Browns to continue to be uh, or their, their defense to continue continue to be a staple. Um, and I think too, when, when you have a defensive coordinator come back for a second year, right. You always see that, that defense or offense kind of take a leap, right. Because they're comfortable in the system. You're only adding, you know, a few guys as opposed to um, trying to teach everybody, you know, the new thing and miles Garrett DPOY last year. Um, you mentioned Ward, obviously one of the better corners in this league, definitely one of the best corners in the AFC North. So, um, not excited to see what they do as we got to see them twice a year, but um, definitely a strong defense on that front. Um, I think San Fran can never count them out as well. You know, they, they always play pretty well uh, and they always find a way. And I think their, their offense gives their defense a, a break at times playing with the lead. Um, and then I think my, my sleeper team, man, I think, I think it's the Raiders. I think it's the Raiders. I think they, who do they, they added Christian Wilkins this, this off season. Um, Obviously, you have the bad boy Max Crosby in there. Uh, talk about a nasty defense, right? When you think about nasty defenses in, in the league, you, you got to talk about the Raiders. They play with pride. They play with grit. This this team is one of the best scoring teams last year towards the second half of the season when you think about, like, their defense. So, um, you know, they were, they were at the top in, in that regard, and I think – a big part of that is <laughs> yeah, Gary's hilarious. <laughs> Yo, bad boy, no diddy. Um, yeah, but man, when, when you think about this team, they were one of the best scoring defenses in the league last year towards the second half of the season. So definitely got to put put the Raiders in, in this conversation. Um, and then just going back to the Ravens too, I forgot to mention they um, they signed Justin Matabuke, defensive tackle. So you know, that, that strength for them right there. He's, he's one of the better D tackles in the league. That was a great free agent signing for them. They had a great free agency too, by the way. Um, but yeah, man, those, those teams, <laughs> some of the better defensive teams in the league for sure. Yo, so <laughs> same thing as the offensive side of the ball. We're not going to bring up the Steelers in this conversation. The best defense is really is what we're doing. No Steelers. Steelers. Greg, blink twice if you need help, because I know <laughs> I'm be behind you. I thought I talk about the Steelers, y'all always say, man. No, no, like for real. No, see, you see, you almost got me. You almost got me in trouble. You see, <laughs> for real. If you really think about this thing, I have to have the Steelers in this conversation. I have to have the 49ers in this conversation. The Ravens deserve considered serious consideration. The Browns were amazing, and then I'd I'd go Chiefs to Jets, and I'd, I'd clip a coin on that one. I think the Chiefs, the Chiefs are that good on the above a defense. Um, the 49ers are proven. It's equated to wins. And I know that the, the Jets defense, is you can't hold it against them. They've, they've had injuries in the quarterback position. I think they're going to win games this year with Aaron Rodgers healthy. And they're a very good defense. Can't can't question that. Um, but I think that it's, it's those six teams. Um, and I'm, I'm probably giving myself a cop out. I, I probably go Jets. I probably go, I'll probably go Jets and I'd leave the Chiefs on the, at, at six. It's probably what I do, right? And I don't think the Jets are at five, but I'm just saying, like, the Jets would be in the top five. I haven't given it to you in any order in particular. Uh, but I got to go Steelers for sure in this conversation. It's the team you guys left out, uh, T.J. Watt. Uh, the other the other pass rusher, I think his name is High. High, High, what's the hell's up? High Smith. Name. High Smith. There you go. High Smith. Uh, really, really good, too. And so, I, I, great. Uh, great tandem. Um they're, they're strong at the linebacker position. The corners are okay, but they get to the brush. They get to the the quarterback with ease, and that doesn't takes a lot of pressure off their corners as well. Their safety plays strong and solid. They don't give up a lot of points. That defense is solid, man. And with good quarterback play, the Steelers are going to be back in the playoffs this year. It, it's it, they are like with Russell Wilson can go out there and be solid, which I think he can. He showed it in the second half of the year with the Broncos. Obviously, they benched him because um, Peyton has all the answers, but. They benched him, and and you know I just feel like with this year, with with 
what Tom's going to ask him to do, he'll be able to go out there and execute at a high level, and they're going to go out there and put up, uh, put up some points, but also just enough points to win football games. I think that's really what I have to see for that football team this year, and I think they're going to be back in the mix. And anytime you do the Steelers, you play the Steelers, you go over there, or they walk up into your home a home stadium, it's going to be a the bar fight. That's just the way it is. The AFC North is the toughest division in football. They've got look at Steelers, Ravens, and Browns are three of the top five defenses in football, and they're all in the same division. All of them. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. That's how great that division is, man. Um, so for I, I just I, I have to give them the respect they deserve there for sure. And I think that for them to be left off for the Raiders. Chris was drinking before he came on here.